Welcome back, everybody. I am Pepperjack, and I am here with you today. Um, a mod for the chess. I know there are a couple mods out there, and I don't know if anyone's made a couple reviews on these mods or any mod showcases, but I'm here to show you one of them. And later down the line, I'll upload some more uh, mod showcases for you guys to look at because these mods are amazing. There's a lot, the modding community is amazing as well. Uh, shout out to this person who made the enchant rework mod. This, oh, this changes enchanting in a whole different direction. Instead of having to pay coins, you get these things called enchantment shards. Now these can drop from some zombies. These can drop from dungeon enemies. And I'm pretty sure um, specifically uh, some of the void uh, apprentices. I'm not sure about enchanted zombies and ooh, a cool thing. And I'm gonna put this in here because I saw this video like yesterday. I think that video will help you out a lot with getting these enchantment shards because you're gonna have to do a lot of grinding. <laughs> I'm not even joking. One enchantment orb, which is what you're gonna need. This is this is the actual item you're gonna need in order to enchant your stuff. Uh, requires a hundred of these in a workstation or any other workstation upgrade workstation and it requires a hundred enchanted shards. There we go. Now we have two here, but as you will see, two isn't enough. You will need at least ten. And I will go over these other items. Uh, actually, I'll go over this one real quick. This is a lucky box. This was also added in uh, with the enchanted rework one. And basically, you'll find these in um, newly generated chests if you're starting a new world. Um, and sometimes in crates if you're in, like, um, this world. Or, like, if you're in a world that you already worked on, like, you, you won't miss out on anything too much if you've already explored, like, a good chunk of your area around you. You could just break some crates and you'll eventually get one of these. Now, I don't know what this will give me, but I'm going to open it and we're going to say, oh, my God. 97 shards. Do you see that? Oh my god. That is insane. That means we could craft another one. And now we're up by three enchanted orbs. However, that is not enough. Because now, what you're going to need is either the wizard, which... Uh, good point. Where is he? Ah, there you are. Okay. Now, let's enchant an item. Well, this is going to cost us a grand total of... 10 which is you know a lot considering you need a thousand shards and um if you're worried about them clogging up your inventory there is a shard pouch which carries shards pretty obvious i like this addition I, I really do uh this was just added in the newer uh change log which i'm really excited for so was loot boxes which Oh my god, that was a lot of shards. So if you don't want to grind too much and you want to explore, you can eventually get some, you know, lucky, lucky crates, lucky boxes, and eventually open, like, that many shards, which I don't know if I was lucky. I'm not sure if that's how many you're given in a loot box. I don't know. And I'm pretty sure this will work just like a functional pouch. Oh, and if you were wondering how to download this mod, basically just go to the Nichesa Workshop, uh, look at one of them and, you know, if you, if you like it, maybe like, let's say the pawn box or the, you know, another vein miner. All you have to do, press the green button. Now you are officially subscribed. If you have Nechesse open, I would recommend you close out and save your world, of course, um, out of Nechesse and, um, restart Nechesse. And then it will also install pawn box or any other mod that you have. No additional things you have to do. It's just as simple as clicking subscribe on that green button. And if you ever want to unsubscribe, let's say I subscribe to Death Grave and uh, maybe I don't like the idea of leaving the grave behind, you can always unsubscribe. But of course, you got to reload the stuff. On that, uh, let's continue on with the video. Oh, wow, we're getting pretty lucky with the crates today. Jesus. Oh, wow, we're getting lucky with the lucky boxes. God damn. Ah, oh, we got another one. Let's go. I think the best way to literally uh, get some more shards is just to grind for lucky. Okay. <laughs> okay, never mind. So there is like a value that uh, is like, you know, maybe like one to like a hundred. 
possibly, for a lucky box. That's That might be how it works. Okay, so there I got 50, alright. I think breaking crates is just, like, your second best choice. Or maybe your top choice for gathering these, uh... Enchantment shards. <laughs> Imagine if there's a speed room where it's like, oh, who could get uh enchantment table the fastest? That'd be kind of that'd be kind of funny actually. Oh, we even got a raid going, bro. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> Not while I'm doing the mod showcase, bro. Come on now. Ah, yes, we can't forget about chicken. Ah, oh, yes. Ah, uh, let me get rid of these raiders. God damn it, bro. Oh wow, <laughs> I, for I forgot I didn't do most of the quads, so uh... Oh, they even dropped some? Wait, hold on, wait, this is perfect for demonstration. Wait, they even dropped some. Yeah, that's actually pretty nice. So yeah, if you want some uh, shards, they can also drop it too. I would advise maybe not um, killing them here because uh, items will sink. Wow. Uh, wow, okay. Yeah, raids are also a really good way to get shards apparently okay that means we could craft the enchantment table there we go now we have our very own enchantment table and of course you can add an item here i don't know if this will give you a curse i'm pretty sure it'll give you mostly beneficial uh enchantments and it won't curse you unlike the wizard but um i'm not gonna test it out this video is already too long or well I've been recording for way too long. So I will leave it up to here. And also, it also works like an item holder. But now, yeah, with that said, I shall see you in the next one. I don't know when the next one will be. I will see you later. Bye bye.